Hello, Internet! I'm Elliot the Purple Doofus, and welcome to Buddy Reads, where I read a small selection of a book and review it for you. Today, we are finishing our read through of Song of Susanna by Stephen King. I hope you finished it yourself because I do not want to ruin anything for you. Not like I really can, because this book does not resolve anything. It's all set up, and it feels awful. It's like Stephen King didn't want to write a 1,300-page novel, but he did. And people said, you know, maybe you just take that first story and expand it a bit so that the last book is less, and this book that we were releasing is just, I don't know, a bit of a plot builder. And no! At least with all of the other books in the Dark Tower series, they resolved their storylines. This one? We have Jake, Oi, and Callahan who just got to modern day. And their story just started in the penultimate chapter. What? The story of Roland and Eddie is just kind of left on a lurch. Like they're traveling to New York, but they're 20 years too early. So, okay. And, okay, Susanna slash Mia finally has her baby. But wasn't the baby supposed to bring about the end of the world? Or something? The section starts with Susanna, Mia, being taken to the filthy pig, the dirty pig, the pig restaurant. And it makes allusions to cannibalism. And all of the vampires are there. And the people that are there are people in masks. And this part confused me a little bit because I kept on flipping in and out with my brain. Are they wearing mascot mask masks and then human masks underneath that and then underneath that they actually have animal heads? Is that what I read? Did I read that correctly? Because I felt that I was reading that awkwardly. That whole explanation. Because they do actually have animal heads. It turns out that the doctors that are operating on Susanna Mia have rat heads. I'm not kidding. Susanna goes into Pullover, where she is in the Dogen, and she is working all her magic on the train set inside of her mind, and it's all giving her these alarms and buzzers and everything. And it says, if we don't go into labor right now, we are going to die! And Susanna actually goes into Pullover with Mia, and Mia says, please help me have my baby, I really want to have my baby! Please help me have my baby! And then once I have my baby, I'll help you! And she says, how? And she says, I'll let you live! And Susanna's like, eh, I guess... Some deal is better than no deal. No! <laughs> Why? Ah! This entire book is set up, and that's irritating to me. Also, one other thing. When she has the baby, does she actually die? It doesn't make that clear. It doesn't make it clear for me. Does she die? Tell me, does she die? Is it just the personality that dies? Is it the body that dies? It never made that clear! And that's pretty much how the main story of the book finishes. Then we have this whole section that feels like it was ripped directly from Stephen King's journal. And it's almost a month by month or year by year account of what happened to Stephen King between 1979 and 1999. I'm not sure exactly what he was trying to do there because it feels factual. It feels like Stephen King's actual life up until the last update where it says Stephen King got hit by a truck today and died. There are some allusions to walk-ins which I'm pretty sure are people going through doors to our modern day earth. He talks about writing the Dark Tower series and how everyone is just pestering him to finish it, finish it, finish it. And it's just like Every other fan of every other series is with every other author of a series. They're like, you must finish this before you die! And he's talking about how it's like his big fear that he doesn't finish this before he dies, you know, disappoints everyone at his death. And it just feels like it's really kind of digging at the people who read the series. It's just kind of like, way to go, Steven. Way to piss people off. But, like I said, at the end, he says, Stephen King died today, and that's the end of the book. So, I'm so mad! I am so mad right now! Why? Why do that to us? Why build everything up and not resolve it? I am so glad I'm not reading these as they are released. I think the time period between this one and the last Dark Tower book was like eight months, but still! Why put your fan base through that, Steven? Why? Anyways, 
I guess you can tell I'm a little perturbed right now by all of this. And I could tell that it wasn't going to resolve anything because I started reading the last chapter and it wasn't about Jake and Callahan going to save Susanna. And I kind of forgot about Roland and Eddie because it had been so long since I had picked up this book. Oh my god. Why? Why? Anyways, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like this video specifically, go ahead and hit the like button. And go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know that you like me. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know that you hate me. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know that you want to see more. Go ahead and leave a comment letting me know that you want to see less. Go ahead and leave a comment letting me know that I'm such a cat for hating the Dark Tower series. And I'll just tell you that I don't hate it. I just wish it was better. I really wish it was better and more logical. Why? I've been Ellie the Purple Air Doofus. This has been Buddy Reads, reminding you to watch the Begin Radius, and I will see you all in my spoiler free review of Song of Susanna by Stephen King. Toodles!